There are only two weeks left in August. Can't believe it. It feels like we're all trying to cram in as much as we can before the season changes. Author Ann Alverno, Professor Carol Barrowman is back and she's got her top five books for a thrill before the summer ends. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. So your daughter gets stung a lot? Uh, she would go outside and I swear we'd have to just cover in baking soda because she would get stung all the time. If no there was way. a bee anywhere, Claire got stung. So baking, you, you knew well, about I knew, that? I knew about that. Oh. I don't know why. And the other thing, and then maybe this was just my grandma, she used to put butter on them too. Oh. A little butter. Well, my mom, soothing, that's for sure. Yeah, Especially my mom, if you licked it yeah. off. <laughs> <laughs> um, meat tenderizer, and that's something I read about online. My mom used to put meat tenderizer in butter. I don't know. Like I, a paste. I maybe yeah. You know, there's got to be something to it. Yeah, the kids would. If there was any bees, the kids j would joke. Just put Claire over there. They'll get yeah, her. <laughs> for thing. As long as she didn't have an allergy, she was good. She, we knew that for exactly, sure. Yeah. From when she was little, we knew it. You know. That's so great. anyway. Oh, that's not yep. so good. Home remedy. All right, yeah. let's talk about these great books. The first one is The Other Woman by Sandy Jones. This book, I just read a couple of weeks ago when it was sent to me and it is so much fun it's like a cross between Bridget Jones diary and a Hitchcock movie Ooh. hilarious really fun um, and the other woman is the mother-in-law. No! Yes! <laughs> Whoa! All right. Yes, Love the mother-in-law. And, that, and that's humorous? It's, it is funny. <laughs> well, here's the funny part about it. As a mother-in-law, um, the funniest part about it is the fact that the main character is kind of a Bridget Jones character, yeah. and the mother-in-law is like something from a Hitchcock, and she's doing whatever she can to gaslight and keep uh. her son to herself. Oh, oh, so pretty. it's got a balance, but it, I mean, well, you know me, I'm a fast reader, but even if you're not a fast reader, this is a day read on a trip okay. or at the beach. If you're at last gasp of summer, it's well, really fun. It's, it was really entertaining. And okay. if you've ever dated somebody who's a mama's boy in sort of a creepy way, <laughs> you're probably going to be able to oh, identify you'll it. Love it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. This, but as soon as I saw it was a mother-in-law was the other woman, I was like, I got to read this. Oh, man, <laughs> good one. Okay, the next one, Leave No Trace by Mindy Mejia. Yes, and she is a Minnesota writer. And oh, so yeah. the, you've had another one of her books. We did. Before. Her first book was amazing, and this is just as good. Yep. And it's about a speech therapist who gets a little too close to uh, a young man who disappeared when he was nine in the Boundary Waters, mm -hmm. and his father is still there. And so th there's all sorts of other things happen, but they end up going to the Boundary Waters to try to track him down. If you know Minnesota, I if do. you love to camp, if you know the Boundary Waters, yep. The, the description in this book was stunning, mm -hmm. just stunning. So cool. It's one of the books we're giving away today, so make sure you stay tuned. Yes. The next yeah. book um, coming up is Notes on a Nervous Planet. This is my nonfiction pick, and as, as Tiff knows, I don't recommend self-help books very right. often, but this book is beautiful. Matt Haig is a novelist, but also um, suffers from severe anxiety and depression, mm. and he just felt like the world right now was making everything worse, and how could you just be more positive? How could you face, um, get rid of some technology in your life? It, it's it's very well written. It's very natural voice, and I can't rem recommend it more. It's a fabulous read, especially if you're getting a little bummed out. The summer's coming to an end. Yeah. This is this would be a perfect book. Okay. How to be happier in your life. I Love like it. That. Yeah. All right. There you go. The ensemble. Um, this one I thought would be a really good um, book club pick, but but I thought also it's, it's a a, isn't that lovely? Mm -hmm. It's about a quartet. I, I, if I remember correctly, they're in California. And that it's about their friendship and it's about their success as, as artists, their success as musicians, their failures, how they handle those. If you know anyone who's interested in music or anyone who's interested in performing, yeah. it's, a, it's a great story. It's also a debut novel. It's fabulous. So, of course, I hate the writer. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Look, no, she's, really not, she's not jealous at all. Not jealous at um, all. The Summer Wives. This title seems good if you're talking about End of Summer. End of Summer, yep. This one is great as well. And um, I just finished this one actually last night. And one of the things that I loved about it is it's set in 1951 and it's full of cocktails and fabulous parties of the wealthy on an island out, out east. But it's got snipe and gossip and, <laughs> and betrayal and love and lust. Everything you want in a summer book Sounds is in like this one. Sounds like a series one. is on its way for that. Right, one. right. Yeah. I would watch it. Like Netflix yeah. yeah, yeah. A Reese yeah. Witherspoon kind of book is that's, awesome. that's exactly what it's like. Tiff. Now, which yeah. of the three are we giving away? There's Actually, no we're going to give away them all. 
I decided Whoa. we're going to give away all of them. Giving oh, away those smokes. three. I don't need to, to carry. one person? To one person. Whoa. I don't need to carry them home. All right. Okay. I, I like that. Okay, here's the deal. What you need to do is um, call us at 414-799-4444. Caller number seven wins those three books, all of them that she talked about, which is fantastic. And you can get a hold of Carol and find out more by visiting her website or going to our website, too. So, yes. Thank you so much. Your website. Yep. Yeah, great yep. to see Thanks, you. Carol. Happy end of summer. Thank you. Go out Thank and don't you. get stung. Yep.